don't question this how he's holding like a candle in the rain i like it's fancy it's fantasy flames okay it, it doesn't it's, it's fantasy it's magic okay i absolutely hate it that i i'm not even posting this anywhere this is the only time you're ever going to see this thing online in this video so yeah once i get accepted into art school i'm going to be able to up my environment game also i thought hey there nelly here welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hi i'm Ogi, also known as nelly and i'm a recent graduate from sin studio montreal's concept art program since january last year even though i practically made art almost every day for school and was constantly being pushed out of my comfort zone i truly and honestly felt like i was making little to no progress as an artist i know crazy <laughs> In my previous video, I shared the entire process that went behind creating my final art school portfolio. And if you haven't watched that video, then spoiler alert, I absolutely hated it. I mean, I hated the portfolio, not the video itself. I think the video turned out pretty good, but the, the portfolio itself, I, yeah, I, I, I really hated it. Yeah. However, I do feel a lot of my frustration towards my portfolio is probably strongly associated with all the stress and pressure I felt from deadlines, imposter syndrome and all that fun stuff that we artists have to deal with yay anyways today i want to hopefully change that mindset that i didn't make any progress because i'm pretty sure it's all in my head and that can't be the case <laughs> at least i hope that's not the case <laughs> i'm gonna cry if it is so what better way to do this than comparing my final art school graduation portfolio with my accepted entry portfolio from two years ago Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. When applying to Sin Studio, there were a few requirements that we had to include in our portfolio. My chair is so damn squeaky. Okay. There were a few requirements we had to include in our portfolio from studies, character designs, props, and environments. I'm going to more detail on all of that in my accepted art school portfolio video, which if you haven't watched it yet as well, then I highly recommend you do. I'll link it down below along with a playlist of all my art school videos because why are you watching this if you're not caught up yet? Go watch it. But for this video, I think the logical thing to do is group all my artwork and compare all my entry designs with my final portfolio designs in order category of environments, props, and lastly, characters. Hopefully, at the end of this video, fingers crossed, I'm gonna see that I did indeed make progress and improvements. Though, I cannot lie, I am a little worried that it's only going to be very minor improvements. <laughs> but we're just gonna have to see. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna have to see. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Real quick, apologies for any noise from outside. I live downtown, it's pretty hot, so I have to leave the window open. It's just gonna be, I'm using a microphone, so hopefully, hopefully it's not that bad. Let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna start off with environments because unfortunately, I don't have a lot to show in this category. Now, if you've watched my previous video, you might be wondering, what environment? I, di I didn't see any environment, you made an environment? yes yes i did i only made one single environment for my graduation ip and i absolutely hated it i know i say i hate my portfolio but if there is anything i hate the most in my portfolio the environment takes the cake anyways for that reason i did not include it i kind of only did it for the sake of like the program requirements but we'll get to that later let's just start off with my entry portfolio the first environment i have here is sky temple and this was one of my very first environments ever actually it was my first environment ever i worked on this and another one that we'll see shortly at the same time and they were both my first environment so just for that alone it still holds a dear place in my heart like i can't bring myself to hate it even though i see all the flaws like the perspective is off the rendering is gross but regardless i'm still pretty proud of this one simply because of the sentimental attachment i hold towards it in terms of design it is a very basic generic design and that's that was intentional as i mentioned it was my first environment so i tried to keep it very simple and i try not to do anything over the top i say over the top and my first environment was to draw a grand temple in the sky yeah. <laughs> 
anyways what i really like about this one is the mood itself i think i, I do a very good job in capturing mood but every other thing just kind of falls apart like that's kind of like a repeated thing with my illustrations and environments the mood is always like good you kind of like get the mood and the story but every other thing just <laughs> But yeah, the perspective is off. I think the composition is also weird. I really like framed compositions. So that's what I was trying to do here. But I think this weird pillar here just kind of seems, kind of just breaks it in a very weird way. My idea was that it's meant you're meant to kind of be like in one of these mini temples and looking out from it. Um, but I don't think that reads <laughs> properly. I also render the water pretty weirdly here but i was really proud of it back then even the clouds clouds are weird um which is something we can comment on later down in this video since my ip nodoku path is based off water the ocean i did render a lot of water but yeah all in all i think this this one was really pretty good like i said still still pretty proud of it the second environment is its watches love it i absolutely nailed the mood and the atmosphere i was trying to go for something more moody i wanted to do the total opposites and i think i captured that like i said pretty good at capturing mood at least in my opinion the perspective is also off in this one like i really struggled with the cabin over here but all in all i think this one once again dear place in my heart so i kind of like it I would say that I could have worked more on the mid-ground elements. It's kind of just like, I, I kind of copped out of just mid like trees and there isn't anything happening. It's just trees. <laughs> but I, I, I like the way I kind of like made the trees kind of impressionistic. I, I, I really like that. I personally like painterly meets concept art photo bash environment. Kind of like that middle ground is where I would like, how I would like my environments to look ideally. Obviously, I have a long way to go, but definitely something I want to work on this year. The monster also needs some work. Actually, it needs a lot of work. I have no idea what's going on here. I kind of just winged this design. But yeah, I think that's another thing. I, I need to be more intentional with my designs. Back then, I really wasn't like, I didn't know a lot about concept art. So a lot of what I was doing was just like going with the flow and winging it as I go, you know? Um, so yeah, definitely. In the future i'm gonna be more cautious with my concepts moving forward my final environment for my entry portfolio is this one it's i just called it cabin in the woods and the first two environments it's watches and sky temple were both submitted during the advanced portfolio review but i wanted to include a new environment for my final submission so i make this one which honestly in my opinion i think is a huge step down from the previous two the trees are questionable i also think that the idea itself is lacking there isn't a lot of story going on here i try to incorporate like story like oh what's this abandoned cabin doing here and like there's a swing you know maybe a, a child used to live here or something but i just think it falls short the execution is also not the greatest like there's just a lot lacking in this one but i still included it simply because i wanted to include a new portfolio which you shouldn't do always only show your best work luckily that did not hinder me getting accepted but it could have so looking back at this i would not have included this environment so after doing this i was a little bit disappointed but i was like you know what it's fine once i get accepted into art school i'm going to be able to up my environment game also i thought this is the only environment i was able to successfully finish for my graduation portfolio Yikes. I know, I know. I'm not a fan of it at all. I absolutely hate it that I, I'm not even posting this anywhere. This, this, this video is only, this is the only time you're ever going to see this thing online in this video. So yeah, I had a lot of different ideas for different environments I was planning to make and I just struggled with all of them and kept falling short. And you know, it's very difficult when you're trying to do an environment and I also had other deliverables with characters, props as well. I struggled so much that it kind of just fell off and I decided at last minute that, you know what, I'm just gonna do the bare minimum for Sin Studios requirements because like I mentioned in my previous video, we had some requirements we had to meet, but not prioritize this because my environment skills are not just good enough to where I want them to be. And I had to move on, unfortunately. As I mentioned, I just rushed it. First of all, I, I did not, I had zero attachment to it. It's meant to be a portal kind of situation in my world. The story is also lacking. Like this is, it's, I, 
I just did whatever I could. That's why I want to be done with this face. I will say though, the lighting is kind of good. And I, I think if I kept working on this with more intention and I maybe gave it a chance, this would have actually turned out decently. The concept itself is very mediocre. It's meant to be a portal. I had the pillar designed separately and I was really proud of those designs. I wasn't able to execute the fountain as I originally imagined and just wanted to do something quick, simple, just to get it over with. So that, that ended up making the entire design just fall flat. One thing I kind of proud of is the floor over here. Ignore the wonky perspective, but I like the ground. As I mentioned, I like the kind of photo bashed meets painterly aesthetic. So I did use some photo textures over here and I, I think that looks pretty nice. Even the back walls, as, as you can see, I ended up just using some like stamp brushes for the vines because I, I wasn't bothered. I just wanted to be quick. Um, yeah, <laughs> but all in all, this is like definitely the weakest link in my entire portfolio and that's why I wanted to start off with this simply because I, I just want to be done with it. Before we move on actually, I have this piece which is the illustration that I made for my portfolio. I decided to include this into the environment section simply because, I mean, I guess it's i could call it an environment i know it's not i know it's not an environment piece this is an illustration but to make myself feel better <laughs> at least i decided to include this in this illustration here funny enough as much as this is not my favorite piece i do think it's not bad i genuinely think it's one of my more decent final pieces in my portfolio. I was able to capture the mood and the story I want. I really like how dynamic it is. I really like the how I rendered the ocean. I mean, it could use a bit more work, but I like playing around with the texture brushes to, you know, convey the, the, the waves and whatnot. Don't question this, how he's holding like a candle in the rain. I like... It's, fant it's fantasy flames, okay? It, it doesn't, it's, it's fantasy, it's magic, okay? <laughs> I chose to do that because I just wanted a pop of color, but I also wanted it to rain. And I, 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 I don't care. It's, it's fantasy. <laughs> but this piece is definitely a reminder to me that I definitely did make progress because prior to this, I had never made a full on illustration before like this at least. So I gotta give credits for that at least. So moving on to props, I love props. Props is something that I think is so fun. You don't have to worry so much about perspective, so much. I mean, perspective still counts, but for the most part, it's not like it's an environment. I also don't have to worry about like capturing some sort of like likeness or whatnot because it's not a character, you know, there's no emotions. And But there is a lot of storytelling that can be told just with a single prop. For my entry portfolio, this was the first prop that I submitted during the advanced portfolio review. And it was basically the fountain in the Sky Temple project because I tried to make it like a mini project itself. I really had fun doing this. I think all in all, this was my first time designing with silhouettes. And I, I had so much fun trying to play with like shape language and shape design. And it was, it was all new to me and I was so excited to do so. And I think they're really clear, they read properly. I will only say that I have a tendency of making like very cop outy designs when it comes to props because I shy away from actually experimenting, which we will see later down the line. <laughs> I absolutely love the way I this fountain looks. I mean, the rendering of the fountain itself is not the best, uh, but I mean, it does read as gold and that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. I also made a little cute animated version of it for my portfolio video just because I thought that would be cool. I'll put it on the screen. For some reason, it took like 100 years to actually get it to work, but it turned out nice. I thought it was cute. And with the water effect, chef's kiss. Now the next series of props, this is where it gets fun. For this project, I really went all in with the props and I had so much fun. And I think it definitely shows in the final result. So first off, we have Red's dagger here. And the dagger has three forms. It can be used as a dagger itself and also used as a spare as well as a brace the props in this project i think were a lot more intentional i really thought of like function form design and how i wanted everything to interact with each other which i think is what personally i love about the design i also wanted to try a more like photo bashed triple a style i think in my opinion i was able to achieve that i really like just how this looks 
it's, it's a little details guys it's a little details <laughs> i struggled with trying to make this three-dimensional view i saw a lot of like prop designers like tilt their props in different dimensions back then i wasn't aware that people were using 3d to make their props and i was trying here to do it from my head and i remember struggling so hard with the perspective but i learned my lesson this time anyways i think rendering wise i definitely did a very good job at least for my skill set at that moment actually no i think i think it slaps i think i really like this these are some of my most well polished props that i have made so far and my final thoughts on these is that like they turned out super great so yeah oh i also had this catapult which i think is less successful and that's just because i added it at last minute I don't even know what I was trying to do. What is this? Why does it look like this? But yeah, I think this was this was less of like a concept design and me trying to bulk up my portfolio. <laughs> I'm moving on to my graduation portfolio. I'll start off with the weaker one. I'll start off with the weakest link. So this is the soul vessel. If you're not familiar with the IP, once again, please check out my previous video. I talk more about the story because I'm not really going to expand on that here. I'm just going to focus on the designs. Now, going into this one, I had a lot of high expectations, but I, I was really struggling to actually make it work in the way that I imagined it. And I was trying to make the shape language work in a way whereby like it was readable as a vessel that collects things. So my original early ideas, I have some of them here. Uh, I think they, I wanted to say, okay, what if, what if her head was on this, right? And like, what if, oh, not her head, not exactly what if her head how can i make it look like okay this thing is tied to you already see herself so i tried to incorporate that in the early designs i tried some other designs where i was kind of like incorporating more like sea elements like corals and trying to forge them together but i was i was once again struggling to make these two elements actually match and i was also finding it difficult to settle on an idea that eventually i decided to just keep it simple and just make it a simple vessel that collects you know it's just it's, just, it's keep it as simple as it can and focus more on like the out uh, the exterior design rather than the functionality so here are some of the early explorations that i did i really liked the colors for this one i wanted the vessel to look pretty because i wanted my ip to look pretty no no valid reason but um yeah i liked some of these i really liked this one but i it was it was very difficult to find like okay how will i visually convey that this thing is capturing various souls the final design i say is meh i'm not really proud of it i think like i said it there was so much potential with the original ideas that i had and what i wanted to do and it fell short simply because I chose to go the simple route. So when it comes to this prop in comparison to my previous props from my entry portfolio, yeah, this one is a failure to me. Even the functionality is mediocre, it's just, yeah. <laughs> but luckily I did a second prop which I'm a little bit more proud of, thankfully, and that is this one. Once again, I had huge plans for this. Initially I wanted this to be some sort of liar that functions like a bowl but that was very difficult to execute so i tried okay what if it's a liar that transforms into a bowl and i felt like that would be kind of like tacky <laughs> i don't know so i decided okay this is a liar that was turned into a bowl it doesn't transform it was just turned once into a bowl that way i could still design the liar and then pull design elements from the liar into the bowl without having to worry about like how it actually does the transformation since this is a fantasy world and i was trying not to make it too sci-fi you know like with all the moving parts and whatnot my original designs as well i wanted to really make it more like the 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 liar or the bow itself had water in it and to get more bows you had to like fill it up with water but that was kind of like the the way you run out of bows but that quickly flopped because it wasn't working out so eventually i kept i decided to keep it simple sometimes going simple is best and yeah, I think it really works. Don't think too much about the functionality. It's, it's cool. It's a cool fantasy world, okay? <laughs> I really like the way I was able to pull the elements from the from the lyre and translate that into a bowl. Another thing I'm really proud of is the way I executed the water bowl. I think that was really cool. So focusing mainly on design rather than thinking too much about the concept 
I think was a better direction to go for this one and yeah all in all I think this was definitely a more successful prop in my portfolio with the way things are going I'm actually starting to worry that I am going to end this video not being satisfied and actually like validating the fact that I did not make any progress because it, it's kind of me just saying oh I'm really proud of the old stuff and then the new stuff I'm like meh <laughs> finally let's move on to characters this is my soft spot my comfort zone and what i'm more familiar with in general so let's see how that turned out so the first character in my entry portfolio is mushroom fighter and if you watch my video you already know that like this video this character is cursed i submitted it twice and both times got very low feedback back then i was really really proud of the results but i will say now that i'm looking back on it i can definitely see why it's it's not the most appealing and i can see all the flaws so clearly like little things i was proud of back then yeah i'm looking at it now and i'm like huh like those are the things that bother me right now i think one thing i'm really proud of is the mushroom shrooms the creatures because i don't really draw a lot of creatures i thought that was fun and i think they actually they're pretty cute i know they're meant to be scary but they look pretty cute the actual idea itself i think it's cool she's like a mushroom mage and then she sprouts the mushroom the attack shrooms i think i call them are from her head and then they can like do her bidding and then they attack you they bite onto their enemy and clicks onto them and then they explode but it's kind of like a parasocial relationship whereby like they're doing this for their mother and it's kind of like yeah we're gonna die to protect our mother kind of situation you know <laughs> um so i think the origin the idea itself is really nice i just think i could have done a better job in conveying that idea i tried to do that here but i felt like that was lacking it, it didn't really hit the mark also the execution is not really clear what exactly she is is she like a tree a mushroom a human with a dress i think in general like the design itself is lacking in that area also what is she using this for what is this weapon for how does this what, what does this do you know so many questions and not enough answers so i can see why this definitely had low feedback the next character I had was Danny, and I was really proud of this one too. But I think it's mainly because of rendering in general. It was just fun to render um, skin like this because I was starting to learn painting. Because prior to this, I only worked in like a flat, cell shaded kind of style. And I was really, I remember being really, really proud of this portrait over here simply because I was, I painted it, I was proud of it. But obviously, looking at it now, I can see. A lot of flaws of course and yeah i just don't know what's up with her eyes over here yeah all this is so unnecessary i did not have to do all this it's, it's all the same it's all the exact same like squinting like these two are the same actually these two are the, the same this is not like i'm looking at it and it's like yeah that's i think the shoes are different okay <laughs> the character herself i did not really do a lot of explorations and i think it's because i did the first one and i was comfortable with the direction design sense i think it's just a simple generic character so nothing really special to say about that this is definitely another one that i would say looking back on it now it was quite unsuccessful this character i hold dear in my heart mainly because of the story it's the first time i ever really fleshed out a world and a story and like i said still plan on exploring that in the future however even though I was really proud of the final execution back then, looking at it now, it's yeah, there it's it's pretty weak. Even the rendering itself is weak. I like the fact that I did some character explorations over here, like some facial explorations and like this one where she's kind of like constructing her stuff. There's a lot of uh, proportional errors. Like she's very skinny here, but here she has like thick thighs <laughs> another thing i really disliked about it was the disconnect between the props and the final character i was trying to make the world kind of triple a game-esque like the visuals but i wasn't able to do that with characters because i had not gotten to that skill set or make a triple a type of looking character but because of that she looks very disconnected from the rest of the world the environments um and the props in general if i do continue to develop the story and the world she's definitely going to have a redesign because her design in general is also quite quite simple and kind of basic and mediocre to be honest but right now i can see that this definitely definitely needs a lot a lot of improvements and a lot of work in order to actually be good enough 
lastly for my entry portfolio we have this one which i called i believe she was like a celestial mage she doesn't really have a story to her and the only reason she exists is because i needed to include one more character in my portfolio and i literally did this in like one day like in a, in a few hours like a few hours before the deadline just so i could include it for the portfolio i do like the colors i personally love shiny glittery things so painting that dress was really fun i think i did add a story to it i think i made up one silly story like her dress is like a portal to like space dimensions but obviously that's stupid cool idea but yeah clearly doesn't reflect in the final design with the rendering too the rendering is all over the place like here it's kind of like not that's rendered and then here is like this um yeah i don't really have much to say here actually she's pretty generic i have a tendency to design generic stuff which is what i'm trying to work on and improve on now let's move on to the characters for my final graduation portfolio so here they are our main protagonist orpheus and eurydice i am not happy with them <laughs> It's funny, it's funny, I know. Okay, so calm down. I actually like Eurydice's design and I think her overall design is pretty nice. However, I don't like the way I rendered it and that's simply because I was rushing. To be honest with you guys, I finished my portfolio the day of the graduation. Like, I was literally in the, in the Uber to school for the graduation event, rushing to paint out these characters. So, because of that, I copped out a bit in a lot of places, like... I don't want to call myself out but like over here like the drapery on her dress is horribly rendered and that's why some parts of her dress looks better than other parts because i did that one before and i had more time to work on it and then i had to like rush to do the rest same thing with orpheus but in his case i actually i'm not even a fan of his design i think his design is pretty confusing i'm the kind of person who thinks functionally when i start like you know how video game characters are just cool with lots of like clothes and random stuff all over their body it's very difficult for me to put things like that without it being intentional so my characters always end up not looking like protagonist characters but end up looking kind of npc-ish so i try to not make orpheus look that way i try to push it a bit um this was the most i could do um and i i think it's too fall short when it comes to rendering I, I, like I said, I, I copped out. I tried to just like make it as presentable as I could. This is not how I would usually render. I would put in more time and detail. I really like more polished. It's either polished or very painterly. And this is kind of like sloppy, if you ask me. I like the way I rendered his scarf piece over here. And I like the way I rendered the materials over here and here. I personally love rendering materials like gold and shiny objects and cloth it's like the best thing it's like my comfort zone i just love running pretty shiny glossy materials so this was pretty fun i would not lie there's definitely a lot of improvements overall in my rendering skills in comparison to my previous characters and that's simply just because i've been doing a lot of painting in art school a lot of anatomy classes and that definitely shows through in comparison with my previous characters so at least in that case i can acknowledge that yes i did make improvements in my characters i did improve my characters even design wise i think the designs are a lot more interesting in comparison to red or celestial mage in general so this is the see soul form it's kind of meant to be like the manifestation of her soul i really like the design i think the design itself is pretty cool unfortunately i didn't have enough time to render it to my heart's content at the moment i think the execution is good enough to sell the idea because most sometimes you don't have to overly render things to sell the idea when it comes to concept art like if this was an illustration then yes you would like to make it pretty and rendered but for concept art you just have to be able to sell the idea which is what i was prioritizing while working on my concepts mainly because i didn't have enough time to actually render everything because i would waste so much time being very nitpicky about every single tiny detail but yeah the overall design i think is pretty cool i actually personally like it i think i was able to mirror the design from her human form i don't know how well it reads but i think you can definitely tell i mean if you saw this in game you would be able to tell i really like the color and the mood that i was able to convey with this one like i said other than the fact that i wasn't able to render it to my heart's content 
that's the only flaw i have with this i also think the design itself is pretty cool i like the idea of incorporating the corals and the bubbles and the seashells and it's just so pretty to look at as well i love looking at pretty things i like how ethereal she looks and lastly for characters in my portfolio we have the forsaken which guys this is the saving grace for my portfolio if i had not done this i would have been honestly not satisfied with the portfolio this is the last this was the last piece in my entire presentation and every time we got here i would always see everyone's eyes like spark up with interest so i'm really glad i actually decided to do this because i was gonna scrap it i when i actually was coming up with the ideas for my portfolio i was like i want to draw a mermaid if you know me you know i love me my mermaids i love magical sea creatures so i wanted to incorporate some sort of mermaid creature into my portfolio for my creature design i really like the way i rendered this portrait over here i wanted to make something scary and horrific but at the same time beautiful once again i had so much fun rendering like the fins and her tail i wanted to do something different from your typical mermaid tail so i was inspired by those fishes with like that very like a uh, flowy fish so that was what i was pulling from from this and i i think i think that looks really cool as well fun fact is that i painted this the night before the gala because i put an all-nighter yes i crazy and i was gonna scrap it but then i painted it and i had so much fun working on the scales and her skin and yeah I'm, I'm just glad i pulled through with this one and with that that concludes the character section and actually i'm i'm surprised to say and happy to say that looking back at it this way i was actually certain i would have the same feelings with characters i thought i was going to feel the exact same way towards them but i will not lie looking at it right now a month after the whole graduation rush has died off and looking at it right now it's growing on me actually especially the characters not the entire portfolio i still not, i still hate the environment but this is actually not that bad if you made it to this point of the video then congratulations for making it this far you are the real mvp real quick before i leave i just want to say a few things i'm going to keep it very short because i'm editing and this video is already way too long so i'll be very fast this was actually a very fun and also very scary video to make as i've mentioned i don't like my portfolio posting it online is still very intimidating however i think it's very important that i acknowledge it i think it's very important to look back on your work and see how far you've come if not you get stuck in this mindset that you're not improving which was where i was stuck in so let me know your thoughts in the comments do you think i improved which portfolio do you like better if you want to see the full portfolio i posted it on the rookies and i have a link to that down below in the description also i plan on filming an art school q a video so if you have any questions regarding art school being an art student leave them down below if you want to see the entire process of how i created my graduation portfolio then you can check out this video right here or better still you can check out this playlist to binge all my art school related content thanks for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one